Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Nielsen. Today, as we approach the last week of our unit on water, we are going to read a funny little story about one way we use water everyday life. We're doing our laundry. And the story we're going to read is Mrs. McNash Hangs Up Her Wash. So let's look over here on our screen. Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash. That's the title of the book, and it's by Sarah Weeks. That's the author. Remember what the author does. The author is the person who, that's correct, writes the book. Good. First, let's talk a little bit about water and how we use it to do our daily chores, such as laundry. Have you ever helped do the laundry at home? What does the word laundry mean? Do you know? Think about it. Mommy does the laundry at least once a week, if not more. We, if we didn't have the, um, the ability to do laundry, then we wouldn't have very clean clothes. So what does the word laundry mean to you? It means clothes that need to be washed or clothes that have been newly washed are called laundry. Very good. What happens, let's go to the next question here. What happens when the laundry is put in the washing machine to be washed? What happens to the clothes? As the clothes are washed, they absorb water and get wet. Do you remember what absorb means? It remembers, remember we spoke about that before. It means to take in or soak up. So the water gets soaked up in the clothes. It takes in the water from the washing machine. And then it spins it and cleans it with the soap that mommy puts in it. And then the water gets drained out of the washing machine too. And that makes the clothes clean. So the dirty water goes out. First clean water comes in. And then as it washes it and spins it and rubs it, all the clothes around, the dirt comes out into the water and then the water goes out. But the clothes are still wet. So how are your clothes washed and dried? Does your family put your clothes in a washing machine? Do you wash them by hand? Some people wash their clothes by hand in a sink and they rub and scrub it themselves. And then they put them, they wring out the extra water and then they hang them up to dry. Do you put yours in a dryer? Do you hang your clothes outside on a line? Do you put them around the house or maybe on a rack that's called a drying rack? How does your family do laundry? Ask mom and dad to tell you what they do. Maybe you help them with it. Today, we're going to listen to the Lion family. Remember the Lion family from PBS station? They're gonna read the story for us today and we're gonna follow along. And it's about a woman named Mrs. McNosh who washes her clothes. But she doesn't wash them in a washing machine like you and I do. She washes them in a barrel like this. You see this barrel here? Fills up with water, put some soap in there and wash the clothes by hand in a big barrel and rinses them in the water and then hangs them up on a clothesline to dry outside in the fresh air. Where do you think the water in the clothes go as they dry? Hmm, let's see. Let's try to remember the water cycle. What happens to some of the water that was in the ocean? It did what? The sun dries some of that water up, heats it up, and as it dries up a little bit, it will turn into a water vapor and go up into the air. So what do you think might happen to the clothes, the water inside the clothes? Hmm. The sun outside, if you put them in the sun, hang them outside, the sun's going to dry them because it's going to take some of that water out, dry it up and turn it into a water vapor and you can go up into the air. But if you put it in a dryer, a machine, then the heat from that dryer will spin it around and will dry it that way. After we watch the story, there's a very funny YouTube video called Wishy Washy Washy Woman by the learning station. I gave mommy the YouTube link here and I'm also going to send it to you in the email. Watch that, that YouTube video, it's a lot of fun and you could dance along with it. And it's, it shows you a woman washing her clothes but it has a lot of little dance moves to it too and a lot of fun things to do. So let's get to the story. So I guess it's gonna put this screen down and we're gonna go right to the story. And this is our PBS station and this is the Lion family. Are you ready to listen? Now, as we listen, I may stop a little bit and ask you some questions, but we'll talk about how there's some of the things in here rhyme too, some of the words in here rhyme. 
but let's look and see how Mrs. McNosh hangs up her wash. Okay, are you ready to listen? Here we go. Put that on. Jacob and play. Time now for Lovey to go into the wash. Lovey, no. Oh no no. Oh, Leona, look how dirty Lovey is. You know, Lovey hasn't had a bath in a very 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 long time. <laughs> She's getting a little crusty. Oh, oh that's okay. not going to be crusty, is it? Goodbye, Lovey. Oh, 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 now they made a material. Making such big deal about such so silly will they? Oh, very funny line. Get okay. ruined in the water. <laughs> Well, well the hey kids, time to do laundry. Yeah. Not quite, Leona. Not quite. Right. There's one more item. No! Not my bookmark! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't believe he's making such a fuss over a silly bookmark. Yeah, yeah. What's up with the silly? What? Silly? Yeah. So, this, this is my favorite, my oldest, my bestest, my lucky bookmark. Theo. Theo. Okay, dear. Thank you. Okay, careful. Okay. Gently. Yep. Okay. Gently. All right. Okay, now all the items are in there. Well, let's, let's, let's wash everything up now. Okay. Mm. Stir it. Yes, yes, now they hang careful. it up. So it could dry. It's fine, Theo. Yeah. And so is your hat, Lionel. And so is Lovey. Oh. Mm. You know, Mom, this clothesline looks pretty weird with all that stuff hanging on it. Oh, you think that's weird? Yeah. Wait right here. Hmm? Well, well, here comes uh, the book now. It's a lady hanging wash. <laughs> is this a book about hanging wash? Well, good going, Leona. Do you figure that out just from looking at the cover? Yeah. <laughs> this book is called Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash. Nosh? Wash? That rhymes. Nosh, 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 They sound the same at the end, Nosh. Nosh. <laughs> Sarah Weeks, and it was illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. <laughs> They had a whole book about hanging wash? <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Here we go. Each Monday at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. It takes her all morning, and when the sun's high, she hangs what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. This is, this is going to stop that just for a minute. Why do you think she does her wash early in the morning? and then hangs it up when the sun is up high in the sky. Think about that just for a minute. The sun needs to dry those clothes, right? So she wants the sun to be out nice and strong and have the clothes dry. So it takes a little bit of time. It doesn't happen that quick. So she's got to do it early so that has, the sun has a long to, uh, enough time to dry the clothes, right? There you go. She hangs up the dresses. She hangs up the shirts. She hangs up the underwear, nightgowns, and skirts. She hangs up the stockings. She hangs up the shoes. She rings out the paper and hangs up the news. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold oh, it right oh. there. Let me get this straight. Mrs. McNosh washes her newspaper. Yep. And she rings it up. 
Yeah. Oh, that, that means you, you, you twist it like, like this. You see, right. you twist and you twist squeeze it. and you turn. Oh, 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 I mean, you, you, you get all the water out by oh, squeezing like right. that, and then you hang it back up on the line. Because yeah. <laughs> remember, the clothes absorb the water, even the paper absorbs the water. <laughs> She hangs up the dog, and his dish, and his bone. She gets a wrong number, and hangs up the phone. She hangs up a hat, and an old wedding gown, and two sleepy bats, which she hangs up. She hangs down. up everything. She washed everything around. She hangs up a lamp, and a large Christmas tree. those are things we don't really want, right? Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. Oh my God, that's a silly one. She hangs up a kite by the tip of its tail. The postman arrives, and she hangs up the mail. I think she, she likes hangs hanging till up things, she's right? hung every last thing in sight, including the turkey she's roasting that night. Do you hang up turkeys? Each that's Monday so by dusk. Mrs. Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. <laughs> she takes off her apron and lets down her hair, then hangs herself up in a comfortable... What? Why are you stopping, Mama? She hangs herself up in a comfortable what? I know. Maybe she hangs herself up in a... Listen, she put down Lena. her hair. What wrong she hair? She takes off her apron and lets down her hair and hangs herself up in, in a, a comfortable. comfortable... What, what rhymes with hair? hair? That you might um, um, put yourself um, um, in. Bear. No, no, no. Wait. Tear. Tear. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> I think it could. Yeah, well, yeah I gotta see this. Yeah. <laughs> A comfortable chair. She takes up the chance to the chair. <laughs> She's silly, Mrs. McNosh. She hung herself up in a comfortable chair. Yeah. <laughs> I love that book. I love Mrs. McNosh and her wash. <laughs> I love the ending. Yeah. I wish I could hang myself up in a comfortable chair. Oh, oh your comfortable chair, honey. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> oh, here's my okay. So <laughs> that was the book. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mrs. McNosh. Oh, look at that, huh? oh, let's go back. I'm sorry. Oh, hangs up her wash. There we go. Now, Mrs. Nielsen is going to go back to the screen here and everything we learned about doing laundry. What do we use to do laundry and what is laundry? To wash the clothes or what the clothes that have been washed. We learned the word absorb. That they get wet, they take in all the water, and then they get wringed out. Either you twist them, either you're doing it by hand, or the machine does it, right? And the water goes out, but not all of it. It's still wet, and it has to dry. So after you, you just read all the story, and you heard a little funny story about Miss Minash, who hangs up everything in her sight. She likes to wash things and hang it up. I thought it might be fun for you to try to make your own little washing machine. So Mrs. Nielsen is going to stop this share here so you can see my screen better. And then I am going, all oh, the stuff is in our way here. Let's get that out of the way. We don't need to see any of that, right? Okay. I'm going to send you a copy of this. What do you think it is that I made? I made a washing machine using a piece of paper and a paper plate. Cut out the middle of the small paper plate. And I'm also gonna send you a copy of some clothes that you could color in and cut out. You probably won't need them all. Color in the ones that you like the most and you're going to put them inside your wash machine. Make sure to color the background of that below because that's the water, right? And that's what we use to wash our clothes. Put color, you put your clothes in there and then put the paper plate on top of it with the cutout in it so you can see the clothes washing. On the top, we have the knobs. See the knobs right there? And you can draw any shapes you want to make the knobs. And then on the bottom, you're just gonna put your name and washing machine. Make your own washing machine. Please send me a picture of you doing this and a picture of the finished product, project, okay? And don't forget to watch, watch on YouTube that um, video of uh, Wishy Washy Washy Woman because it's a lot of fun. 
Also, I'm gonna send you just a couple of questions for you to answer. You could tell mommy what, the, what your answer is to the questions about the book and write it down. If you could write it yourself, that'd be great too. If not, mommy could help you, okay? Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye now.